All right, this one's gonna be on mech dump. It is a command line tool to, what it says here, dump information about a web page. All right, basically what I'm using this one for is just grabbing uh, URL links from a page. And you can do different things in here like grab uh, forms, which we're not gonna do. Uh, you can grab links, which is what we're gonna mainly do. You can even grab just images only. And I like this better than uh, using curl or links, the web browser uh, to dump it. Cause those ones, I don't know, it's not always, um, well, it's more involved to get the links that you want. You'll have to filter it out with either awk or set or, you know, grep and stuff like that. Um, mainly you have to do a lot of work with it. This one is a little bit less work, but um, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Um, so if I want to grab some links of a, let's say for example, I was trying to download a bunch of MIDI files and you can see here, these are, see the MIDI files? Yeah, see, these are MIDI files, right? You can see it at the bottom here, right? There's a tripod.com. That's very old school, but it still exists here, right? So I was trying to get all these links and so we're just going to grab the uh, URL of it, but uh, what is our uh, snippet here, mech dump. So this is the command, it's real simple. You do mech dump links, dash dash links, and then when you do absolute, and then when you have a agent, uh, in this case, we're going to use uh, Linux Mozilla, right? And we're going to just put in that URL that we want to grab. And it should spit us back the, you know, the URLs of that page, like all the URLs on that page. And you can see here, these are all the mini files that I was looking for, I guess the URLs only. And then I can pipe that into like, um, you know, a downloader like wget, curl, aria 2c, whatever it is I need to download it with, right? And so that's what that does. Now this tool is not perfect though. So uh, you see how it has like, you know, it grabs me all the links perfectly, right? And you can see uh, all the links do line up. So you can see it says, uh, what does it says here? Right, so you can see it says the, um, the URL of it, the main URL and then slash MIDI and then WWF and then blah, 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 and then MIDI file, right? Um, so that lines up, but certain sites, uh, it doesn't work with it. Let me give you some examples here. Oh yeah, okay, here you go. I got archive.org. And here in archive.org, um, let's open this here. Show all, okay, there you go. So in archive.org, um, you see it has these uh, MIDI files here. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see. So here's the full link at the bottom, right? You see how it says uh, archive.org slash download and it says video game music, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then it gives you the zip file, right? Well, if you try to do that, the same thing with that, with uh, this command that we just did. So let's do it here. You can see that, let's go, what are we doing? It doesn't actually give us the uh, proper URL. Now this one looks correct, but it's not correct. You can see that, uh, it just stops it at, at uh, download. You see right here, download, and then it doesn't actually uh, gives us the uh, the correct page as above, right? It's missing that portion right here. Uh, video game, music, blah, 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 blah. And then slash, and then to the file, the zip file, right? So it's not proper. So what you can do with this one, um, uh, what you can do is, we we'll just change out the absolute and we're just gonna get the relative path only. Right, and this one just shows us, you know, the um, the relative path of this, right? And then you can actually just maybe do like, uh, this is usually what I do while read, line, do, and then we're just gonna echo in that uh, URL. Right, and then we're gonna do that and then we'll do a line and then done 
and that's how I would probably do it for uh, getting the files uh, of all that URLs. And that's how I would pipe into, you know, my um, either FZF or something like that. And I can get all the links that I need to download. I say zip only, right? And you can even filter out even more if you like, but that's generally how I do it uh, for archive.org or some other sites that doesn't have the proper URL. So you just want to use the uh, relative URL, which is, what are we doing here? So this would just give you the relative URL. And that's how you would, um, you know, filter out even more. You probably have to use grep to remove all the ending slashes here if you want to do that. But that's just a general idea. Uh, depending on the pages, uh, that's the only one I noticed for archive.org. It doesn't actually work with this one really well. And um, like I said, you can use this one for links. And uh, this one, I think you can fill out forms with this, but I don't really have a usage for that. Um, but you can actually do it for images also. So, for example, if we did this one and what was that? What was the other one we did before? This one here. Let's say uh, if I don't want to do images. Uh, there's only one image on that one, but let's say this one would do images. All right. So they give you a bunch of images uh, links. Some of them are maybe not really images, but you see here it says PNG, right? Um, so yeah, there you go. That's how I would use this one. And I like this even better than curl and what was the other one? links web browser to dump it. Even W3M doesn't really do a good job of dumping the links that I want. Um, so this one is what I would recommend for mech dump. And um, which packages is that? They have like different packages depending on which you know distribution you use. So in Arch Linux, it's called Perl www mechanize, and here's lib www mechanize Perl. So just search for mechanize, and you should be able to find it. And that's how you install it, and that's how you would use it. And um, this is mainly what I use. Um, I have a little script here to download everything. So let's say, for example, if I want to download a uh, bunch of MIDI files. Let me see here, MIDI files. We'll search for Madonna. All right, and you can see here is a bunch of MIDI files here, right? On these downloads, and I would just do, uh, I'll download with, let's download it with wget, right? So I'll just download all this stuff. Oh, see here, select all, Alt A, all right. And there you go. I'll just download all that. And I'll show up in my demo here. Uh, where is it? Is that the right one? Oh, no. I think I have to use curl with this. I can't use wget. Let me see here. Do it again. Because curl can give you the... Um, the reason why I use curl instead of wget is that curl can actually find the final uh, destination of that URL. And so that's why it can actually download with this, hopefully. Am I right about that or no? Let's see here. Yeah, I can write about that. So this one, I'm using curl to download instead of wget. And you see here, these are all the files that we just downloaded in MIDI files. And uh, curl does a good job of following it to the final um, link URL. In this case, they give you the name of it and the file name and everything like that filled out. And there you go. And if I want to maybe even filter this out or like rename it really quick, I can use my uh, uh, you know my bulk rename using I think this one is Vdir. And there you go. Look at that. That's how I'll clean up I know all the file names if I need to. And I'll listen to MIDI files in, uh, you know, my terminal, uh, which is, what is that? MIDI? Let me mute it though. Why didn't it mute? But there you go. That's how I'll listen to uh, MIDI files using NVLC, which is the 
uh, version of VLC. And that's it. That's how I would do that stuff. Anything else I need to say about this? Not really. Um, if you want to use this uh, tool, should be in your repositories. Um, it's probably not really known that much because I didn't really even know it exists. But uh, I saw some of the uh, some people use it online, and I like this way better, like I said, than the other one. Now the other one still works, but like I said, it's more involved. Uh, but this one less involved, although it's not perfect, like I just mentioned uh, with archive.org, you know, being the main example. But there you go. That's how I would download stuff just using my terminal uh, commands and also just my terminal web browser. And I can just, you know, um, go to any of these places and I can go download and I'll say curl and I'll just go, oh, MIDI files only. Boom. And I'll just all of it and I'll just download it, right? Real simple using my FCF and little scripts. Anyways, that's mech dump if you want to use it.